जय राधा माधव गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरी यशोदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदन ब्रज जन ब्रज जन रंजन जमुन तीरवन जमुना तीरवन जय राधा माधव गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरी जय राधा माधव गोपी जन बल्लभ जय राधा माधव यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन जमुना तीर बन हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 
Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare Ram Hare Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. 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 Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Jaya Radha, Shama Sundara, Sundara, Jaya Radha, Jaya Radha, Govinda Radha, Govinda Radha, Sorry, just time come on the button because we need to separate that for then we just take any big things so I need like it to get... 
Very nice. Thank you. That was very sweet. So, dear Prabhus and mothers, today we are having a most relishable last session of this Bhakti Shasi course. At the same time, it's also sad that it's ending. <laughs> uh, but that's how spiritual world no that's how the material world is spiritual world is it goes on actually you can be in the class for million life million years without boring without sleeping or tired it's so nice can't wait to go to spiritual realm So let us do the Mangala Charan and then we are going to start with chapter 18 and 19 and then we'll talk with the reflection. Om Ajnanati Midandhasa Yenanjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tashmai Sri Guru Vena Sri Chaitanya Manovistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadam Hayam Dadati Shabadantikam Pandeham Sri Guru Sri Juta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamsha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathanitam Tam Sajivam Sadaitam Sabadhutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhanitam Sha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Simate Bhakti Vedanta Samini Tinamine Namaste Sarasate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sushnupati Pashatade Shatarine Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayati Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Shenama E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanto Radha Kanto Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshari Vrishavanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Bancha Kalpa Taru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Vacha Patitanam Pavani Pro Vaishnavibho Namona Vrindai Tulasi Devai Priyai Kesavasacha Vishnu Bhakti Pade Devi Sattapati Namona Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda Sri Adaita Gadadhara Sivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, this grantha we are um, 
I would say teachers, they picked few verses that's very important. But it will be good if we have six verses. First one is definition of prema, pure uttama bhakti that we discussed. And then next verse we discussed about the symptom of uh, <clears throat> pure bhakti. And then third verse was that how to approach or uh, chant pure name or perform pure bhakti. And then fourth verse is how to live in this material world as a Jukta Vairagi or, or a performing devotional service while not attached to the material uh, thing, but engaging all the facility to serve. In other words, you can say, love Krishna in the this in this world, with this world, through this world. Love Krishna in the world, with the world, through the world. That's Jukta Viraka. So let us recite that verse. Anna vila sita sunyam gena karma dhyana pritam anukilena krishna anusilanam bhakti uttamam. The next verse was Sarvo padi vinir muktam tatparate na nirmalam rishike na rishike sa sevanam bhakti ruchate. Atha Sri Krishna Namadi Nabhabed Grai Jamindriye Shevon Mukiji Bado Shayame Baspurati Ada Anasapta Shabishayan Jataraham Upajunjata Nirvanda Krishna Samande Jukta Viraga Muchate. And then we added another verse for the previous sloka. The nine symptoms of pure devotee, including me, including my guru and all the spiritual leader, we can examine where they are. And that one was Skantir Abhartha Kalattam Virakti Mana Sunnata Asabandha Samutkanta Namagani Sadaruchi. And one more verse for this chapter and forever. From bhava to prema, when, how, to who, by the symptom. Where is that verse? Shamman uh, Madhalila, chapter 23.7, Phil, in case if you are looking for 23.7. Shamman Masranito Shanto, Mamatta Atishaya Ankita, Bhava Saeva Sandratma, Buddha Prema Nigatate. This is the definition of not how to obtain pure love, whether you have achieved, whether you have received the pure love. It's by internalizing, not really so much of outside. If you look at the nine symptoms that we discussed of previous, mostly is internal. Tolerance. What is the tolerance? Mostly inside. I mean, hardly people really beat somebody. But insult. You know, the word hurts more than physical wounds. Physical wounds can heal immediately. But something somebody say 40 years holding. I did some mistake to some devotee. And I, I was really not intelligent. I mean, not a good devotee. 40 years back, somebody didn't have a pot to take water, uh, milk. So I was, I guess, I don't even remember, but he mentioned that I was in charge of distributing the milk uh, to the residence devotee. But the condition is they all have to bring their own pot. So one devotee didn't bring, and I told him, you have to go back and bring it. And he didn't feel like to go back and bring it. He wants me to spare my pot or some pot from some. 
So after 40 years, he mentioned it. I was thinking like, wow, some words or some activity can hurt someone for 40 years. There was no healing bomb. No, I don't know what kind of medicine. So, I mean, I won't say that his name because I respect him, but I apologize. But I said, wow, I cannot believe this. So one sense, I was not a good person in the sense that people can hold on to certain thing. For you may not be aware, but somebody can, oh, I didn't like the way you gave other person two rosgulla, you gave me only one. You are like a judgmental. So a certain feeling we can hold for 40 years, 50 years. And it can hurt. Okay. So according to this verse, this is a beautiful. First of all, this chapter is divided, or, or I mean, this part of Bhakti Rasam Sindhu is divided into four parts, as we all know. First one is Samanna Bhakti, introducing the definition of pure bhakti, pure love to Krishna. And there was a inter intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic was three things. I hope you all remember. It has to be cultivation of activities. It has to be activities. It's not just say, I love Krishna or I love Prabhupada, but I don't do anything. No. It has to be activity. Cultivation of activities through my body, my mind, and my speech. And then it has to be in a favorable and <coughs> it has to be exclusively for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna. So that was inter intrinsic. Extrinsic was it has to be devoid of material desire and separate interest from God, like karma and gyan, etc. And then six characteristics was that pure pure bhakti was first is klashogni. Klasham means this. Maybe we won't go too far, but origin of suffering comes from abhidha. Then from Abhidha, when, uh, there are five layers of Abhidha. Many places explain. Fifth can, third can, to 20 chapter very vividly. Tamisra, Andha, Tamisra, Moha, Mahamoha, Tama. This five, five layer. First creation in this material world was this five layer. Of wow. What a first creation. Prabhupada said Brahmaji was uh, sad because he was a devotee. He said, that's not good. So he went to meditation and then four result was born from that meditation out of compassion. It was a Sanka, Joga, Bhairagga and Tapa. You have to do four things. But who is going to execute? Who is going to teach? So four Kumara was born. Then four Kumara born to teach four things. <clears throat> then Lord Shiva and one goes on. The list of creation. So from ignorance, what produce? Who remembers? The Abhidha causes? No, those are the five layer together we are considering. Abhidha, Abhidha, ignorance causes what? Seed. Seed, desire. Seed is the desire. Desire, yeah, I can live without God. Really? Yeah, people feel like that. Come on, be honest. You go ask, I'm sure before you came, you thought, yeah, I can live without God. Whether it's true or not, that's not the point. But you feel like you can. That's where the problem is. The seed or desire to enjoy separately is the root cause of all suffering actually also. So then from seed, desire, what happened? Sinful activities. Okay. Yeah, sinful activities. So desire, you take action and then it becomes activities. Then from activities, it creates an impression for future karma. You can say it's in a storage, storage some. And some are fructifying immediately, causing you suffering. 
so-called enjoyment and suffering. And it goes on. And it's a recycling. It's cycling. Aparabdha means storage. It's not yet. As I discussed, there's some seed, some desire will fructify immediately. Some will take a long time. Like a bamboo, I mentioned. It takes years. And you may lose even hope. Like you watering, but nothing, no sign. But Garbanza bean, next day, you see something pops. Like, wow. Because Dhritarashtra asked that question to Krishna. And Lord Krishna says, yes, some can fructify immediately, some cannot. So then, why did I have to suffer for 100 sons? Why not in one life? Why 50 years back what I did? He said, hey, to have a 100 child is not just like that. You have to have a Sukriti. So I said, like, a really? Now I feel like scary. Like, why we get into this trap? <laughs> but we are here. We cannot get out of it. And, well, I'll just take a five, maybe two minutes. I'll give you one little story. Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur. Krishna is reminding. I don't control. 15-15, Krishna says, I am the giver. Sarvasya chaham ridi sannivishta matta. From me, he says, matta. Three things come. What? Smriti, memory, upon and forget. So you have to ask Krishna why he reminds like this. So Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur says, <clears throat> he's saying that how the soul actually got trapped. Because generally we think like, how did I get trapped? So that uh, he gave an example. A criminal did a severe crime. So he has a three punishment. And King asked, which one you want? One punishment is five. he has to drink five kilo ghee. Wow, that's yummy. No, no, careful. You try to think what you are thinking. Five kilo ghee or 50 whips. You know whips? Maybe you never got it, so you may not understand. It really takes your skin off. It hurts. Those days, I'm talking about 1930s, he gave that example. And or 50 years in jail. So the guy who got caught, he's already 50 years. He's thinking 50 years means rest of my life in jail. It's horrible. I don't want that. So he's thinking only to option two left. 50 whips or five kilo ghee. Ghee is, I can handle it. It's a little too much, but I can handle it. <laughs> so after they open his mouth, they pour half kilo I can't, I can't, it's too much. I can't. And then he started throwing up. He said, no, no, five kilo, five kilo. Keep your mouth open. They are like pushing. After, after a few minutes, he said, it's completely like a senseless. You think ghee sounds good, but are you talking about five kilo? It's called sattagun, goodness, so-called goodness enjoyment of this world for his soul. So he said, I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, you have two options left. Out of three, you didn't want it. Voluntarily. Forced. So he had a, he said, okay, 50 years jail, no, it's too long. I, I'll just take the 50 whips. So the military officer started whipping. One whip, no, oh, second whip, no, no, and third whip. I can't, I can't give, I give up, I give up. Well, what else is left? So 50 years in jail is Tamagun. 50 whips is Rajagun. And he is Sattagun. Sounds good. But this is how conditioned soul literally wrapped in these three modes, modes by their own choice. Now, some of, can anybody think like, could he not get out of it any other way? He could. There is a way. He didn't even think. But he saw only three options. He could just fell at the feet of king and regret and repent. He said, what I did is really bad. I don't want to do it. Please help me to correct myself and never do it. He could have been released and get a, you know, counseling or some way he could. But soul in this material world don't like to do it. They want to figure it out. They always think of beating the system. 
I can figure it out how to minimize my suffering. Why not go to God? Why not myself figure it out? No, go to God. Go to God. But conditioned soul don't want to go. We may not understand because we are trying to be devoted. But there are a lot of people who doesn't want to go to God. They just have a something in them like, oh, why God? Why? example <laughs> <laughs> yeah their own choice was not a king king gave the option to give okay so then we discuss about pure devotional uh, definition of pure devotion and its six characteristics so that's where we came clash of me first is clash of me all the clash of how it's burned to ashes so that's nice whole world should do bhakti that's why you can see Prabhupada, why he's like meditating, how the whole world can do bhakti. Then they will be out forever, eternally, free. Wow, I wish that day would come. The whole world chanting, dancing and get, getting out. Hopefully. Then we discuss about six characteristics. So first one was Klashogni, then Subhada. It's a auspicious. And then we discuss about Sudulava, how rare it is. You cannot say Barnashram or piety or anything causes bhakti. Bhakti is free from all this. So that was Sudulava. Then we talked about uh, so Klashagnis, Subhada, Sudulava, Mukshalagata Krit. How uh, in in a bhava stage, you elevate your consciousness to a point you think liberation is like, ah, you know that mood, like insignificant. Insignificant. For a somebody who loves eating fish, maybe delicious, but when that food is given to you, ah, Oh, is this not food? Yeah, not for me. But you just saw your face like, like this is not insignificant, very insignificant. But then we discussed that liberation comes automatically for a, to a devotee because in order to serve Lord, you have to be in that planet. You have to be near him. All this, five, if you think for liberation, these are all. How you serve him? With the opulence to serve him. So that is, you're there. Then like but in, in, in Golok Vrindavan, it is different because in the sand, one sand of Golok Vrindavan has more opulence than Vaikuntha. But it is all hidden. Like Mother Sochi never worry for money, but she's told to Nimai, you took sannas, everybody's gone, my husband is gone. Your elder brother took sannas. Now you took sannas, I have nothing. No, what? And she was worried. So what do you worry for? Said, well, I need some money to buy boga. Well, look at inside. Maybe you have. And then she goes inside. Say, how did this gold coin come? <laughs> this is how this uh, Golok Bindavan is like. Golok Bindavan, you'll never hear that some people are engaged to make gold coin. But on Krishna's second birthday, I was making a one time many years back chart of each birthday party. Now Krishna has a big birthday party. I want to join him someday. It's a birthday party. Nanda Maharaj, first birthday, second birthday party. Nanda Maharaj felt, I want to give charity, but there's no beggar in Vrindavan. So what do you do? Joguma immediately went to demigods. He said, hey, you want mercy of Nanda Maharaj? Lord's father? He said, yes. So Indra, all these 33 million demigods become beggar and lined up. He's going to Jamuna to bathe, just lined up. So they come like a crooked, one eye blind, is like all asking. Now, I, you know, while I was reading this, I was thinking, Nanda Maharaj is not even thinking where they come from. Are they from my village? I never see them. I don't have a, anybody like this. But they all lined up, thousands and thousands of them. And Nanda Maharaj getting gold coin, bullock uh, cart, you know bullock cart? Bullock cart, loads of gold coin. He's giving each person bullock cart. 
and he's making sure that bullock cart carry to their house, wherever their house. So Sanatan Goswami Pad is very unique. He asked the question, does anybody ever thought like where these billions of gold coin coming from? We are struggling in this world for wealth. But Guluk Bin Dawan has a unlimited opulence, but nobody see it. When they need it, it just manifests from somewhere. So Nanda Maharaj gave, and he gave millions and millions of Bullock Cart gold coin. But he never inquired. You wonder why he doesn't inquire? Because love for Krishna covers all this knowledge. You don't have to know. You need it, it's here. Like Mother Sochi Mata is saying, like, we need some money. Oh, where did this gold coin come from? So she goes, okay, get some. What's his name? Uh, the servant. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Mother Jashoda, Ishan. Ishan. Ishan, here is a gold coin, go buy some. But gold coin from somewhere. This is what call sweetness. Sweetness covers the opulence in a way that when you need, opulence will pop. But opulence will not predominate because then sweetness kind of disappears. So, but all the opulences are hidden within the sweetness. But sweetness stay above. Okay, so that one was or oh, Sudur Lava. No, there's a Moksha Lava Takri. Why, why liberation in, in Singapore? Then the last two was in a Premo stage. That one, one was Krishna Akarshani. That he, pure bhakti, uttama bhakti, not only attract Krishna, it also, who remembers, subur, uh, control Krishna, control Krishna. Bhakti approach, you can approach Krishna with bhakti, but you cannot control God. Would you like to control God? Why not? If that facility is there, but then you have to do uttama bhakti. Of course, be careful. Krishna is the one who is going to sanction. You have to have a proper mentality. Then only you will sanction. Uh, then, uh, so that one, and uh, the last one was Sandrananda Visheshatma. Actually, Sri Krishna Akarshani, attraction to Krishna is the last one. But before that was Sand, Sandrananda Visheshatma. Intensify bliss. The happiness intensify in a prema stage. So these are the six characteristics. And then we discuss about second chapter to 16 chapter all the way we finished yesterday about sadhana bhakti. So I won't go to that route because itself will take few hours each chapter. It's very nice. You can meditate actually. Just take your japamala and chant for eight hours. Just think of all 19 chapters. So wonderful. You don't need book or anything. Just close your eye and think about it. And then today, uh, this morning, Mother Kaylee was very nicely explained about spontaneous devotional service. Above that, what is that? Bhava. And we discuss about Bhava. Yesterday, Mother Rama made it very clear that uh, spontaneous devotional service um, has a few characteristics. So, and I hope you all remember. Similarly, the, now we are going to discuss about Prema, ultimate goal. Ultimate goal also um, has an in, intrinsic or internal and extrinsic. So that bars if you all can, this is 23.7, Madhulila, 23.7. Sammakma srinito santo mamata atishaya hankita bhava saeva sandra atma buddha prema nigatate. First of all, this chapter has a, a few things. First point is, I'm going to discuss, what is the definition of prem? Okay, this is first point. What is the definition of prema or love of God? Second is, what are the primary and secondary characteristics of prema? So you have to remember that. Uh, third is achieving prema. Fourth is two types of prema. 
what are the two types of prem? Fifth question is ebullition to prem. When? How the steps or stairs or level of consciousness rises at the level of prema. And the last one is the difficulty of understanding prema. Do you notice that after explaining all the good stuff, then they give a warning. Every chapter is like, like a wonder. Why is like that? Because it's cautions. Otherwise, we may take it in a wrong and then Prabhupada translate the last part. It's called further information on Prem. So let us discuss <coughs> the gradation. So gradation is first is preliminary desire you have to have. In order to advance in spiritual path, first thing is you develop a desire. Preliminary desire. For what? Self-realization, discovering yourself and also discovering Krishna. So example is, more we discover about Krishna, more we focus on Krishna, we will know ourselves more. Don't focus on Atma. We are not in that process. We are more on interested on Krishna. Then more we discover or understand Krishna. Knowing Krishna and understand or knowing about Krishna are not the same thing. Everybody understand that. Doctor knows specific disease about the child. But mother knows the child. Mother may not know the disease of the child. But mother knows the child. Doctor knows the child or mother knows the child? Mother knows the child. Doctor doesn't know the child. Huh? When, do when the child is sick, mother takes the child to doctor. The question I'm <clears throat> thinking to create, who knows the child? Mother knows the child or doctor knows the child? Mother knows the child. So we are not interested just to know about Krishna. We want to know Krishna. That is required. It's a very subtle way. So definition of prema, that verse that I mentioned 23.7, if we think very little deeply, shammak, shammak, the word Sanskrit shammak means completely and circumpass means everything within. What is that shammak masrinito santo? What causes the heart to be soft? We discuss about the hard heart Weak heart, we don't want either one. Hard heart by the impersonalist, weak heart by the karmis. We don't want gyano idea, we are not renouncer, we are not an enjoyer or exploiter. What are we? Utilizer. Devotee means utilizer. We utilize everything in relation to Krishna. So when we utilize everything, our mind, our asset, the world, everything, then it will cause our heart to soft. Soft means not hard-hearted, not weak-hearted in between. It's called madhama. Just like a, well, I don't know if you all know how to sow seed and grow. Them. If you have an area flooded and you sow the seed, Never you will see. But it is there. Water is there. Uh, the earth is there. But that logic doesn't. It has to be soft dirt. Fertile ground. Not wet. And if it is a rock. You sow the seed. You don't go, grow anything either. So it has to be. Madhama. Madhama means in between. So samag masrinito santo. Mamatta, sense of ownership. Ownership. He's my friend. He's my lord. I can't live without him. My life has no value without serving. This kind of you know, 
possession you feel like possess mamatta atishaya ankita marked with abundance unlimited bhava emotion so that eva certainly sandra atma sandra atma whose nature is very condensed means you are feeling for the lord emotion is like condensed like milk becoming now kheer is better udhe by learned person prema love of god it nigaddate is described when the bhava softens the heart completely you have it prabhu yeah becomes endowed with a great great feelings of possessiveness in relation to the lord and become very much condensed and intensify it is called love of god in prema by learned scholar is there the same translation you have to use? okay so what is the definition of love is this how to perform pure devotion is that annavilashita shunna and this is the result annavilashita means the preliminary requirement to go start bhakti okay <clears throat> one acharya gave a little interesting point on this he says when lust lust means lust doesn't mean sex desire lust the word kama means separate interest from god satantra because our misuse misuse of free will misuse of free will means separate interest developed what is misuse of free will means what is the utility of free will when you serving according to guru krishna you know devotee said please do this you are you are at that time you don't have misuse of free will you are perfectly well situated misuse of free will causes separate interest so he that acharya says when last is completely transferred to the supreme god and the concept of kinship is completely reposed in him such is accepted as pure love of god it that's very nice too like krishna is my friend krishna is my master this possessiveness is required prema is defined by bishma de prahlad uddhava narada that bhava which is possessiveness related to bishnu and to no one else so i hope you all understand this definition of pure love is not easily understood by the karmis or scholars it has to be some devotee who are practicing they can understand this because uh, that's why it did, it did not say like if you shed tears if you cry for god or that's how you know you have a love it didn't say that it says that it has to be examined by proper understanding if it is properly directed towards pleasing is it in favorable way and all the symptom that you feel this has to be examined it's very interesting technical mundane love is like Kongso, Kongso loves his sister. Oh yeah, he's a royal king, and to drive a chariot is a labor class. But he took that, he took that position of a labor class. Why? Because he loves his sister, Draupadi. I mean, Devaki. He loves his sister. So to express his love on the wedding day. he said i will take my sister to his newly wedded house but on the way there is a aerial voice you how do you say you fool come sir no i don't know if they really say it like a heavy way i mean it was a aerial voice loud enough that you fool come sir the lady you taking a child from her womb will kill you did they say it in a scary way or ever wrong in the wedding 
I, I won't explain the whole wedding, but there's a little interesting point just to make this. In the wedding, Vasudev Maharaj had a 16 wives before. So, sorry, 15. She's number 16, Devoki. So, in Vedic wedding, you know, the first meeting of the boy and girl, the public are there. I mean, not public. How do you say? All the well wisher of the wedding, the bride, maid, groom, whatever, the relatives all are there. And the priest says, okay, so they will have their first meeting. The girl comes, uh, the whole ceremony, girls come, uh, her father take the bride, going to give her hand to the new man who she's going to marry. So she has a veil on, covering, not seeing any other, just waiting for that moment to look at the eye of the husband. So they had a big uh, cloth covering, so eye to eye union. And the Bhoshudev Maharaj says, I know who you are. You are the mother going to be. Because when I was born, I, uh, my name is Anaka Dunduvi. Anaka Dunduvi means uh, loud uh, drummer. Those days they didn't have a text or email. So they would have a drummer every street corner make the announcement for the for the king, on behalf of king, what is the decision. So everywhere, there was a rumble sound in the sky when Vasudev born. Your son. No, they don't make that scary sound. Your son going to be the father of supreme personality of God. That's a good news, no? It's not like a scary sound. It's a, such a good news. So my mother says, what is the sound all over the sky? He said, this child. Now in Vedic culture, in maternity house, only the women are allowed to enter for a certain period, for 11 days and like this. Anyway, I don't think that. So then uh, mother, Vasudev um, um, Maharaj's mother, like, what was the sound? What is the sound? All ladies say, there's the aerial voice. That your son, this child, going to be the father of the God. Wow. So he's already famous, eh? well known. So today in the wedding time, he mentioned the secret to Mother Devoki. You will be the mother of Supreme God. And she's so happy, started shivering. Wow, well, I'll be the mother of the God. <laughs> she had no clue before. There was, there was no dating, you know, like all these things. It's all corrupted here. So it's very interesting. Why did I bring it? Because I'm, I'm just telling you what is material love. So he loves his sister. Kongsu loves his sister. And he was crying. He was shedding tears. And he was taking the chariot, driving to Vasudev Maharaj's house, where his other 15 wives going to welcome the newly wedded. New wife of Vasudev. All of a sudden, the aerial voice comes that a child of you kill. No, the aerial voice actually spoke to Kongsa. You fool, Kongsa, the aerial voice. So that time, what happened? If you really think, he was crying for his sister. He really have a love for his sister. Doesn't he? Come on. Yeah. But then what was he doing? He was holding the whip on his hand to whip the horses to go faster and rein by the left hand, controlling the horses. Come on, giddy up. Go nicely, gently, but faster. I don't know how you. I never did that. So then he's, he's doing it. Then all of a sudden, when the aerial boys came, he dropped both. He grabbed the Devuki's hair. I thought he loved her. He cried. And pulled out the sword, ready to severe her head. Tell me, what kind of love is this? This is called material love. He cried for his sister. He ready to become a sudra from royal position to show his love for his sister, become a chariot driver. But he gave up everything. So was there a really love or was it a selfish motive? 
you think. You don't have to answer, but you think. Those who are in audience, you all can think. This is, this is I think, many examples in our history, that reality. This is how the whole world is. Whatever you think or me way, their friend, if when it comes against their own choice, they will kill you to get out. I mean, they are ruthless. Yes, Prabhu. So, when Hamsa Take the microphone. He has some ego, right? Take the microphone. So, on the way to deliver his uh, sister, Hamsa. So, I think he has an ego. That's why his uh, mind changed. If he doesn't have an ego, not going to happen that. When you say the word ego, we always have ego. Without ego, you would not even be here. Ego means self-ID, identity. We have to have ego. Our real ego is servant of Krishna. We are talking about false ego. Yeah. 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 He had that's why that uh, strong force. That's why even he is ready to kill him. Right. That's why I'm mentioning that material love is what kind of love is there? We're talking about pure love, but we have to have a comparison to understand the so called tears that people cry. Okay, I'll give you one little more example just to establish this. So, this is material cry, and you saw Kongshu was crying for his sister, then he became. What happened? <laughs> Everything dried up. Not only dried up, it went against. He wanted to kill his sister. Was it really ever loved? Was it ever really genuine love to his sister? Yeah? No. No. There is no such thing actually pure love in this world. But it appears like Kongshu had a tears. I mean, people would say, if there was no aerial voice, they would say, yeah, he cried for his sister. He loves it. But then he turned into to killer to be a killer. That's scary. Same thing. I mean, Rabona has also. So I give you one more example. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's time, this Sanasi Chaturmas time, and this Sanasi is giving class, and he was talking about. Um, impersonal, how dangerous the impersonal philosophy and others. Then at the end, he noticed that this one Mataji in the back, she's crying. So he asked some Brahmachari to find out that what was that affected her? Either she is like a hardcore Mayavadi that, or impersonal is that she's getting out by hearing the lecture or something else. And they inquired they said, oh, I feel very peaceful when I sit in the class. I said, oh, very nice. But we were just curious, <clears throat> what triggered you to shed tears? And you really cried like very emotionally affected. So <laughs> up, up till then was good. But then she opened her mouth. She said, few days back, I lost my goat. <laughs> and goat had a goatee. You know goatee? Yeah, goatee. The goat has a goatee. And Maharaj, due to Chaturmas, he also has a goatee. And his goatee reminded of my goat that I could not find that goat. Why? I don't know what happened. And I miss that goat and I'm crying for that. Now, it has nothing to do with the Harikata. <laughs> but she was in the temple. She was listening Harikata. But her cry... If they did not ask, they would say, Maharaj is so advanced because when he speaks, some people cry because we saw. <laughs> Luckily, they investigated and they found out it was nothing. <laughs> so, what was it? Now, she was in the Harikata place. So, like this, when why I'm bringing all this? Because to say somebody has a love of God, and it has to have a scientific sign. These are the nine symptoms that Mother Kaylee mentioned. You follow? So these are important to know that how that person's behavior, how that person's tolerance power, how that person's thought, attitude, this is what constitutes pure love. Is that clear? Okay, now today's bars, on these bars, there is an intrinsic 
and there is a primary or secondary. So the primary is that bhavo so bhavo so evo sandra atma that his feeling those nine symptoms his feeling for the Lord intensify. So what is the difference between prema and bhava? Preliminary stage of prema and fully mature stage of prema is intensification. How intensified that feeling. So that's primary cause. Secondary cause that it, it completely softened the heart. What is completely softened the heart? Means no other, no objection to the command of my master. Whatever my guru say, I'm ready to carry on, like Prabhupada. Whether it's a struggle, success or failure, doesn't matter. You go on. Of course, you engage your intelligence to focus how to do it. And this is very important. I'll, I'll tell you something in that regards also. Beautiful Giriraj Maharaj's, I love his book also. It's a very a lot of nice thing to learn uh, from a practical. So one time, uh, Prabhupada told Giriraj Maharaj to help him in certain things. And Maharaj, some or other, didn't do it for a couple of days. Just imagine, Prabhupada won something and he just... So on the third, uh, few days later, Prabhupada asked Giriraj Maharaj, I asked you to do this. He said, yes, Prabhupada. So, but you didn't do it. He said, Tamal Krishna Maharaj doing this Pendle program. You know Pendle program? In Bombay, Pendle program means the pre big preaching. Like uh, India, what do you call those? Indian festival. India festival, the truck that goes different city in America. Huh? Yeah, Ratha Jatra time or any big festival, they bring their own stuff. Festival of India. Festival of India. The big truck comes from New Orleans. I mean... Uh, and they set up tents and then... Oh, Krishna. Vidhi Krishna Maharaj's place. I can't believe it. Krishna, 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 Krishna. North Carolina. North Carolina. Thank you. North Carolina, from there they go all the way to Los Angeles. Rotha Jatra, they built all this booth. You say, by God, so much expensive. Well, that's what they do. You pay them, they already have it. They go everywhere. Madhu, Madhu Haprabhu. Madhu Haprabhu. You'll, you'll really get angry with me. If I sell him, I forgot your name. <laughs> Madhu Prabhu, I love him. He's a wonderful devotee. He really does a lot of, he engages a lot of young generation also to travel with him and do this festival in every Ratha Jatra, different program. So, um, so Pendel program, then uh, Giriraj Maharaj, so Prabhupada, the point was, you don't have to know the whole story, but point was, Prabhupada says, did you forget to do what I asked you to do? Prabhupada, no, no, I did not forget, just that I didn't have time. Something we should learn, because we also can see how we lead our life. So then Prabhupada said, and you did not ignore it, so no. So you, what was your intention? Said, as soon as I get the time, I will do it. I did not forget. Then Prabhupada said, that's all right. There is no offense. Then he says, I was told by my Guru Maharaj, 44 years back. I did not forget, but I tried different way to do this preaching. I could not get it. Until now, it came full-fledged. So Prabhupada said, as long as you don't ignore and forget it, you carry on. Okay, my Guru Maharaj told me to do this. I'm going to do it. It's just the time or facility is not there. You follow? Then there is no offense. Is that clear? Everybody understand? So because here it says that the first symptom is that uh, your feeling for the Lord with those nine symptoms intensify. So bhava to prema is nothing but a Smaller scale to intensifying in a bigger scale or condensed form of your feeling for the Lord. So that's primary. Secondary is that you always carry on the order. Uh, in other words, your heart has softened. Softened heart means you don't ignore or neglect, avoid the instruction. You carry on. Another point was 
Mamata Atishaya Ankita. Mamata Atishaya Ankita. It is marked by highly possessive ownership of Sri Krishna. You really feel strong. He's my master or he's my friend. Whatever you feel, you will build a, a dependence relationship, you know. Yeah, he'll take care. I'm not worried about it. I know it will be difficult, but Krishna is there. Why should I worry? It's very nice. You're not, you're not stuck to one thing. Prabhupada was instructed to go to America. Uh, no, to preach. Prabhupada was instructed very specific, not America. That preach to the English speaking world. That's what Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur said. He didn't say America or any. So then Prabhupada could not get ticket and visa. It was very difficult in the beginning. So then somebody suggested you can get visa for Japan. Anybody saw that book called Light of Bhagavad? Yeah. That's how that book came. Prabhupada says, okay, I'm going to go to Japan. He's ready to speak in English speaking. Of course, Nipponjin means Japanese in, in their language called Nipponjin. I was there in Japan. I can speak. Bakwa, hi. Arigato gajayimas. Bakwa Indono wasan. Indono means I'm an Indian monk. That's how I stay at this hotel. Because there's no English, no sign, nothing. So you are forced to learn uh, Nipponjin, Japanese. Japanese called Nipponjin. And we call Indojin. And you are called Martinjin, means America. So, Jin is there in every. Uh, race. So anyway, that was very interesting. <clears throat> so then he put out the whole book. He's ready to go there, even though there's no English. But he thought, if he goes to Japan, at least close to English world, then he'll go to America or some other English space. So this is the mentality they have. They do not ignore. They feel Krishna will make the facility. Krishna will give me the facility to preach. I want to preach. I want to carry on my Guru's order. This is the symptom of Prema. Okay. Now I summarize to one word. So pure love of Godhead has a primary and secondary characteristics. Primary characteristics in Sanskrit called Bhava Shoeva Sandra Atma means your bhava, your emotional feeling intensify. That's primary cause. Secondary cause, it completely soften your heart and it is marked by highly possessive ownership of Sri Krishna. He will protect, my Lord will protect, my Lord is there, I do not have to worry. You feel like that. You know, it's like a intensify your position. That's all. Other day we discussed that beginning of our spiritual journey, we see Krishna how? Philosophically. Then when we start applying this philosophy in our life, then we start seeing Krishna practically. You follow? Some Can you relate that? Philosophically, yeah, God is there. Krishna is there. I'm tasting, drinking the water. Krishna is the taste of water. So is a philosophically you see in Krishna. Taste of the prasad. Yeah, that's Krishna. Krishna ate it. These are philosophical. But when you start really more applying and you developing your consciousness, close connection with Krishna, then you will start seeing Krishna practically. So from philosophically, practically. What is our goal? To see Krishna spontaneously. Is that clear, everybody? Okay, good. Can you give examples of what that looks like? Uh -huh. 12, 12, 17. Okay, I'll give you one. I'm just calculating the time, whether I have. I'll make a short. No, I'll give one ex short example. Bill Mangal a very good example. Short. Because other examples, yeah, Billamangal Thakur will be easy. So Billamangal Thakur, <clears throat> he has, he had, he, he risen in spiritually in his previous life before he became Billamangal Thakur. 
to almost bhava stage. So he went through all this. None of you, even Logan, he, he looks like he's just a new boy, but you have no idea. Maybe last life he was already. I don't know. We'll see in due course of time. Whatever we take down this life, you remember one of the six uh, characteristics that it's never lost. With other things, other process, it get lost. If you are a billionaire, next life you born in a place, the billion dollar is not going with you. It's disconnected. Sad. But in spiritual uh, achievement, everything goes with you. Whatever you accumulated spiritually, understanding, it goes with you. It's so wonderful. You know, sometimes I think like, I don't have fear. Why should I be afraid? We should be always thinking of Krishna and just be happy. And uh, there's no suffering. So, it, so that from that angle, if we look at Billa Mangal Thakur, he already did a lot of, but then he became a very attached. He had a wife, but he was attached to a prostitute. I don't think anybody can even imagine. I know we are in college ago. That he was so attached to this girl named Chinta Mani that his father died. He was doing uh, funeral ceremony, rituals. And he's telling the priest, can you hurry up? Because he feel like to go to prostitute. On that day, he's doing you know, ceremony for his father's funeral. I mean, come on, give a break. We may say like that. But you may not understand. He was so attracted by that prostitute. He just... And then uh, the Brahmanas are saying, we're trying to do best for your father. He said, yeah, but you are slow. Go quick. I need to go. I need to go. And then eventually they could not finish. And then he left. He left all this food and things for this prostitute. And while he was going out, all of a sudden the thunderstorm comes. <laughs> Christian, on the way. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy, stormy. It became like a completely cloudy, dark, spooky, dark, and very deadly road. Can say. When he arrived near the river, in order to uh, go to the prostitute house, he has to cross the river. There was no boatman, nothing. Nobody is there. So he found a log big log floating. He just grabbed it. It was not a log. It was a dead body. Now how, what kind of blind blindness you have that you grabbing the log or you're grabbing the dead body of a person and in your thinking even anything wrong. I mean, what kind of absorption in prostitute enjoyment is there? And anyway, he crossed it. And then the prostitute also locked the gate from inside. And he's knocking, but in a heavy stormy night, knocking doesn't work. You know, they didn't have a cell phone. They didn't have a tax or whatever. <laughs> Nowadays, probably you would try. But then he wanted to cross, but the wall is very high. So he found a rope uh, hanging from a side. And he grabbed the rope. And he crossed it, and then he realized the rope also fell. It was a deadly snake. So you you grabbing a snake, you don't even know it is a snake. I don't know. It's like a hypnotism, isn't it? Yeah. What kind of hypnotism that you don't even think the di difference between? Is there a difference between rope and snake? Come on, there is difference. <laughs> yeah, absorption. So finally, he went there. When he went there, finally knocked the door and she opened it and she was like shocked. She said, what are you doing? Why you are here? And then he, he, she said that Prabhupada, according to Srila Prabhupada, he says, Guru, his previous Guru entered through the mouth of prostitute teaching him. You have so much attachment for this dead body. I mean, prostitute don't talk like this, but Guru was talking through that prostitute body. That you have so much attraction for this dead meat, you know, this body, flesh. If you had little bit of that attraction for Krishna, your life would be completely fulfilled success. 
Why are you wasting your life like this? You want to enjoy that body and that body is talking completely spiritual like a big slap, you know. Turn this way. You know, like. So he turned around and then he, he, he left and he was regretting. I can't believe this. Am I doing really like this? Regretting, you know, repenting. Acknowledging means rep re uh, repenting. First regret, then repent. It's natural byproduct. It's coming. So then it came to a point where he started crying and crying and he asked people how to go to Vrindavan, which way to go to Vrindavan. And on the way to go to Vrindavan, he was a little thirsty. And then on the uh, quenching thirst, he uh, found in the village, they have a deep well. And there was a lady who was patching water with a bucket and rope. And seeing her beauty, he fell in love again. He could not resist. Then uh, he was uh, following her all the way to her house. And when in, in Vedic culture, anyway, I won't go into details. Um, there was a, play, a time where he was given a place to stay. And her husband says, he's a guest. He looks like a sadhu, you know, because he's going to Vrindavan. Give him a place, let him stay, and in the morning probably. Then he asked that um, if he could borrow the safety pin of the lady's uh, blouse. And... So then uh, it was a little strange uh, demand or asking. So she gave. But then in front of her, and him and other, he just poked his eyes. Repentance and regret causes, so I'm covering that class also, that causes uh, rectification. And he did that. It was now, and then he begged, he said, you are like my mother and my last maid within me, you are an object of enjoyment. So it came to a point where they were like shocked. <laughs> Imagine somebody poked the eyes right in. From that day, he was just asking the people, Hari Bol, am I going towards Vrindavan? So people are guiding. And at one point he came to a, uh, he was thinking, I wish somebody could help me. I wish I could meet somebody who will take me to Vrindavan. And Krishna actually came. Krishna came as a little boy, coward boy. And he says, where are you going, Baba? He said, I want to go to Vrindavan. Okay, I'll show you. I'll take you. Go. Let's go. He said, oh. you." He said, yeah, I'm from there. We, we live there. I'll take you. No problem. So going on the way they're talking. In the talk, he expressed his life. He said, then what did you do? And he also felt like, wow, somebody has interest. <laughs> That's why spiritual mentoring is important in our spiritual progress. Because if we do not go through a process, sometimes it's difficult. And Prabhupada appreciated that, that how he expressed you know, his journey also. It was not like Prabhupada didn't talk about his journey. He talked about his life what went wrong, how he rectified, how did he do it. Now, even with his wife, he said, me or tea? And she said, tea. He said, okay, you don't need me. And he walked out. So she thought he'll be back. He never came back. That was the last. So did he leave with permission? Yeah. She's, she's the one who chose tea or me. <laughs> <laughs> so, the point is, Bilamangal uh, Thakur, I'll speed up to the Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, Bilamangal Thakur was sitting there, uh, sitting there and Krishna was sitting. So then Bilamangal Thakur says, wait, why am I developing attraction for you? Because when you sing the glory of Krishna, when you seeing Krishna's quality, it's so attractive. More than I can 
feel attraction what I know. I want to hear from you. Who are you? You are not an ordinary boy. I think either you are very Supreme Lord Krishna yourself. Then Krishna disappeared. Did you get it, Mother Haley? That's the whole journey. This is the whole journey. Then Bilamangal star, Thakur started his next journey. Then he's crying and crying. I'll just end with this. Just one little part. He was crying and crying and he's crying. My Lord, you came so close. I'm so full, I could not even recognize. How is that you are interested to hear about my life? I am interested to hear about your life. But you never, I never let you speak about your life. I was talking, I went through a big journey. But Krishna was interested to hear. Even Lord Chaitanya, he wanted to hear his realization. This realization soothing the material world. It is necessary. So then, Bilamangal Thakur at one point said, I wish, I wish, this is the only boon I, that I want to be close to you and talk, glorify you. Yeah. And he's crying and crying and Radharani came. Radharani says, why you brought this person in Vrindavan and you leave him like a beggar? He's crying for you. Go and give darshan. This is so nice. <laughs> Krishna says, well, I'm just checking. <laughs> My Lord, please forgive me. I'm not trying to. Because I know you are controlling everything. <laughs> I'm scared also. <laughs> so then, Krishna uh, Radharani says, that's not fair. You should give darshan. Krishna says, don't go too close. He said, why? He said, he, no, he's blind. No, 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 he has a spiritual body. He can feel. <laughs> I'm just warning you, don't go too close. So he go and went. When Radharani went nearby, Bilamangal Thakur had a feeling. He grabbed the feet. Then Krishna had to come. Radha said, come quick, <laughs> rescue me. Then Radha Krishna came. So then Krishna says, what do you want? He said, I just want to have a vision of both of you. Then you can go. So they had this vision. I don't know if you understand. When somebody is blind, they see through ear. And their perception sometimes far deeper and sweeter than we all experience with them. Because we cannot focus on this. We also focus with every senses. But they lost this eyesight. And their absorption is like very pinpoint. So Bilamangal Tagur came to. He quoted those verse, famous verse that Prabhupada quote. Prabhupada doesn't quote the whole verse. Bhakti stai sthiratara bhagavan jadishit daivena. No, Dibba Kishoro Murti. Dibba Kishoro Murti. Kishoro means he's becoming young. Krishna never became young. He's eternally becoming young. I don't know what is that means. Question. He never became Jobok. Jobok is never youth. He's like becoming. Nova Jovan Ancha. You'll see those words. Nova Jovan. Becoming. You know, becoming 16 years. Need little advice. <laughs> you know, when we look at Krishna, He's like a so attractive, charming. You want to talk to him, but he also need little like a suggestion or guide or something. <laughs> and I like the way Prabhupada said, Krishna eternally put himself into that form in that village. Why? Only he knows. <laughs> he could have chosen you know, a big city or a nice palatial like Dwarka, but his origin, he chose a village, country life. Simple living. You'll never hear any Braja Gopis ever wondering for food, for future, wealth, and this, that. They never concerned. But then everything is there. Who is doing all this? This is Vrindavan. It's very difficult to grasp because we come from a world where you have to plan for it. You have to, you know, program it. Then you will get things done. But over there, nobody else. So it is sweet, predominating over opulence. Very sweet. Okay. Is that good enough? Thank you. Okay. So we discuss about 
pure love and pure love primary characteristics and second characteristics. And then we discuss or we discuss about mamatta. Mamatta, ordinary devotional service. You say, Krishna, I am yours. Who are you? I'm Krishna's. And Prema Bhakti, it changes. When Prema arises in you, you say, Krishna is mine. So, you are Krishna's or Krishna is yours? No, you have to say in Bhava, Krishna is mine. He's my Lord. He's my worshipable God. That's good. Perfect. But when you mature, then you say, is mine, not you are his. He is mine. It's like a you can say uh, this temple. Oh, there is a temple. Means these people has no relationship much. Then somebody will say, that's our temple. Oh, he has a, some relationship. You follow? Can you follow what I'm trying to say? This is there is a temple, means no relationship. Oh, this is our temple. It's a, some relationship is there. This is my temple. Oh, very close. <laughs> and you say anything about temple. I am temple. What is the problem? It's Purna Chandra. What is the problem? Means temple problem is like a, uh, my problem. It's not like a temple has temple problem. I have my problem. No. Temple problem is my problem. Means you are, your position, you are becoming one. Close, close, close. It's good. So this is what difference between Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. Prema Bhakti is... Krishna is mine. Bhava Bhakti is I am Krishna's. So this is very nice. Then how to achieve uh, achieving Krishna Prem? Achieving Krishna Prem Bhava Uttitta Prasadatta Srihare Riti Shobhi Divi Divida. Very nice. This Prem of the Lord has two types. That arising from Bhava, that arising from mercy. We discussed that. I hope you all remember that. Right? Prema comes from, love of God, it comes from how many sources? Two, mostly. One is comes from a practicing or you can say bhava. Another comes from mercy, mercy. Okay, mercy comes from three ways. By the words, by the glances and by the good wishes. Narad Muni in the previous Kalpa, we discussed that in the previous chapter. And now today I'm discussing that through bhava, bhava also uh, come from true. One is boidi bhav. Boidi bhav takes you where? Boikunta. And raganuga bhav or spontaneous, it will take you to Gulab Vindavan. So you decide where you want to go and how much facility you have and you will get there. Okay. Then these two types of bhav. So, prema comes from bhava mercy. You ever wonder uh, how many times I'm repeating just for you to grab hammering. And then bhava coming from vaipoiti bhakti and raganuga bhakti. Raganuga bhakti are two types. They are called kamarupa bhakti and samandatmika bhakti. By relationship and sensual. It's interesting translation Mother Rama had. Um, so, prema arising from maturation of bhav. What does that mean? So we, this chapter discussed that also. Prema arising from bhava is explained. How? There is a famous verse. 1.4.5 That bhava which reaches the highest excellence by continual service using all angas is called prema arising from bhava. Very nice. And prema arising from bhava achieved through boidi sadhana. This is 11.2.40 in case if you want to know. Where is boidi sadhana? What do you do in regulative uh, practice that you will awake uh, bhava? 11, Bhagavatam 11.2.40. An example, prema arising, uh, an example of prema arising from Vaita Bhava is supplied by the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. By chanting the holy name of the Supreme Lord, 
one comes to the stage of love of God, then he, the devotee is fixed in his vow as an eternal servant of the Lord. And he gradually becomes very much attached to a particular name and form of the Supreme Personality of God. As his heart melts with ecstasy, ecstatic love, he loves very loudly or cries or shout. Sometimes he sings and dances like a madman, for he is indifferent to public opinion. Now you may say, like, the whole thing is like disappear from the memory, how to grasp it. So you have to practically, how I understand, I'm going to explain it. Ebam brata so priyo namo kirta jato narago dhruta chitta ucce. Hasuti roti ruditi unmada bana nittati lokopacce. You have to make a firm conviction, nista. From today, I'm going to chant 32 rounds. Doesn't matter whatever happened. My Lord, I'm taking bow, but I'm weak. With your help and my bow, together, I'll make this journey complete. You follow? Mercy and endeavor together. So then you start taking. Then something will change in your consciousness. You will start experiencing Mahaprabhu quoted this. Ebam brata sapriya nama kirta. Jata anurag. That time you will have a, a, a you will feel like some attraction is there for Krishna. You will sit and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. You are thinking of Vrindavan Lila. And you will say, wow, I like that. I want to progress that. You may be doing taxi driving business because a lot of devotee does in New Orleans. They drive taxi. That's how they earn money. But you will be thinking some Krishna topics. Like you will see some attraction because you took a bow decision. Bow itself is not enough. You need mercy. So you say, my Lord, I want to chant 16 rounds every day or 32 rounds or whatever rounds, 20 rounds. Please help me to come closer to you. I want to come closer. When you have a strong decision like this, then you will start experiencing if you are stick to it. Of course, there will be some challenges because you have to pass the exam. Maya Devi says, really you getting out of my head? Completely? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a new creation to see if you pass it. <laughs> Prabhupada said, more you are advanced, Maya Devi. I didn't like it when I saw that. It's like, why, why, why? Because you are driving in a higher speed. Wouldn't you more attend, put more attention when you're driving in high speed? Sure. Because little accident can blow you up. So it is necessary. I look at that way. So uh, we discuss also prema arising from Bhava Egypt through Raganuga Sadhana. And we did discuss, I think, a lot. Enough. Okay. Then another verse, you can also read 11.12.7 when you have time. Prema arising from the great mercy of the Lord is explained in this sloka. The process I have mentioned, Krishna himself spoke. Hey, you have to observe Janmashtami. Krishna says this, you have to do all this. And we are going to do it, right? The birthday of Krishna. Now, let's go to the second topics was the two types of Prema. What are the two types of prema? One is mahatta prema, one is kebola prema. Mahatta prema, prema mixed with knowledge of the Lord's majesty. Bhava matured from Bhaiti sadhana becomes mahatta gena prema. This type of prema arises from the devotee's appreciation of Krishna's Godhead and majesty. And kebola prema is pure. What is that? Bhava mature from Raganuga Sadhana becomes Kebola Prema. In this type of Prema, one's love reposes exclusively on Sri Krishna himself. And one's affection never deviates to any topics other than Krishna. Not even to Krishna's opulence and power. Is that very clear? You're just gathering all this knowledge. And more you gather the knowledge, what is the purpose of that? It's supposed to transform your heart. 
And only way it transforms by contemplating on it. More you contemplate, you will get reflection and then assimilation will take place. So let's go back on a simple English, or I mean simple way. My English is worse than simple. It's like a slang. God is identified by great, sweet. Focusing on greatness evokes submission. Focusing on sweetness evokes affection. Simple. But without submission, focusing on sweetness to evoke affection may take you away from Krishna consciousness by artificial means. So you have to pay really attention because it's very attractive. I want to hear about Krishna's sweet pastime. I want to hear about sweet pastime. Well, we need to do this on ortho, you know, you are mean to other person. Are that person was mean, you don't understand. I want to hear about it. No, no. You will be attracted to Sahajiyas. You will not like any more purification. You will only interest, not even hearing Harikatha. How is that happen? Because I'm looking cheap way to get out. Purification means transformation. Is that clear? Purification means what? Transformation. The way you think, the way you feel, where you are away. Yes, feel. Yeah, sure. sure. Only just the time. Sure. We'll, we'll come back to that uh, topics about uh, the seven steps that in that is a very Wonderful. Um, because the one Krishna reminds is like a long. But let me finish this and I'll come back to that. Is that okay? Sure. This is very nice. So everybody understand that point that we have to, yes. Now, okay, let's reverse this. Okay, I am only interested to understand the majestic aspect and submission. Okay, don't worry. I'll just focus on anartha nibritti. That's it. Anartha nibritti. I want to destroy all the unwanted impediments, everything. Labo, puja, pratishta, whatever the four, I put that. Sarup, brahm, asat, trishna, aparad. And uh, sarup, brahm, asat, trishna, aparad. As if I can see that. Asat, trishna, aparad. And then, what was the last one? Sarup Brahm, Sarup Brahm, Paratatta Brahm, Sadha Sadhan Tatta Brahm, Maya Tatta Brahm. Then Ashatishna means enjoying spirit here, want to go to heaven to enjoy further, ultimately liberation, or eight mystic siddhi. These, these are called Ashatishna. Then Rida, Ridai Durbala, that's right, weakness of the heart. That was the number four. So say we focus on this, I want to purify my heart and everything. No interest of Krishna's pastime. These are for the... I'm just purifying. What will happen? There's also danger. Impersonalism. Krishna is a lovely person. God is a lovely person. He really most beautiful, most attractive, most lovable, preeminently lovable. If we don't focus on that only purification, then we we have to, there is a balance, proper balance. Maybe I'll give you that example later on this, how to do both side by side. Okay. So we talk about two types of prema. Everybody understand, right? One is Mahatma Gyan and one is Kevala Prema. Both are important. Mahatma. 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 Like M is yeah. Not Mahatma. Mahatta. Mahatma. You know, Mahatva, like a M is like a silence, but it's there. M A H A T M Y A. Yeah. Supreme Bhakti. Other one is Kabbalah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come to a point of from Sadhan Bhakti to Bhava Bhakti to Prema Bhakti. 
Because Swaji, another problem they have, they think they don't want to purify because you're talking about going to Boykunto. We're not interested. You understand, Phil? We're not interested to go to Boykunto. Yeah, but how do you go to Golok Vrindavan without Boykunto? No, no, we are going to 10th floor. And Boykunto is 9th floor. No, we are not interested in 9th floor. We are going 10th floor. But 10th floor exists only after 9th floor. So purification has to be there. You follow? Logically, even it's a mundane example, but still has to be there. Okay, so then third part, evolution uh, to prep. This is what the final game. So this is a beautiful chart actually we made. And I want to share it uh, with you. I'll, I'll put it on the post. So this is from Madhulila chapter 19, dot 151 to 161, where Rupa Goswami Path quoted his own. If you are fond of Bhagavad Gita, this is in 7 chapter. Oh, chapter 4, 10 also there. Chapter 4, 10, that verse is there. so the three attachment you have to get rid of also. Uh, that is also very important. Then question Rupa Goswami Pad put that difficult to understand. Uh, di uh, sorry, the difficulty of understanding prem, and he gave a beautiful analogy. Dhyana shayana navo prema josha milati chetasi. Antarvani vi api asya mudra sustu sudar gama. This ever fresh prema arise in the heart of a person who is very fortunate. That person's behavior is very difficult to comprehend even for those who are no, in knowledge, no, who, who are knowledge in scriptures. I mean, Everybody understand that or you need an example? It's like, you know, Bhangshidas um, Babaji. He's a pure devotee. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is also a pure devotee. They both exist simultaneously. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur told his disciple, don't go to see him. They, some of them thought, oh, maybe it's like a less, so don't go. Some people thought, some thought, maybe he is like not a pure, that's why. No, no. Then Bhakti Siddhanta Tagore explained this when he heard this gossip. He says, he is a pure devotee, but he is in a stage where you will misunderstand him. For an example, he will tie up the rope of Gornitai on their waist. Said, go, take bath. And he would put them in the Ganges. Go. Go take bath. Then Jai Gornitai and they are opening the door to relate that story. I guess. And after some time he said, come on, time up. Get out. No more, no more bathing. I need to dress you up quick. And people think like, who is talking to the deity? And he's like a really like a mother to a child or something. And really like, come on, come on. It's it, You think what? I have whole day just to bathe. <laughs> and then he really grabbed them, bring them to temple. And he bathed and then he dressed them. He said, you know, because of the problem, I didn't even collect any food. So I know you you don't want to starve. Okay, let me go and get something. It's like... And people don't understand, like, ah, he really talks. He does. He acts. He's in that platform. You know, it looks like anybody can imitate like that. Anybody can imitate. 
but they are not imitating. So one day, something happened. Some lady came with a fish. Now, in his early life, he also ate fish. So, Bangshi Das Babaji Maharaj. Same time with Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur. There's a book actually written. Yeah. Not Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur. Same time. But Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur knew his mood is so elevated. He warned his disciple not to go. And then so this lady said, Baba, I want to, Baba means out of affection to a sage, saintly people. Baba, I want to, I want you to take, taste this. This is very good fish. I cooked very nice. Oh yeah, they taste good. <laughs> he was just talking. And then for a moment, some or other, he said, how do you know it's so tasty? He says, because I eat every day. But I thought of offering. Now, after a few minutes, he realized, wait, I'm talking about fish. And then he said, get out, never you come. This is not affordable. Then he started yelling to Gornita. How dare you are sitting there and not protecting me? How can you do this? You duty to protect me. I'm your servant and I'm talking about fish. <laughs> he said, he got so angry. He said, no more food today. <laughs> Now, when some disciple, they reported to Bhakti Siddhanta Tagore, he said, I told you not to go there. His activity, this is like, a, this is any, nothing wrong. It's just that their relationship is like a very, how do you measure it? It's like, a, don't try to measure it. He's such an advanced level. It's very difficult. People will commit. He was kind. So I, this is a one side. I'll, I'll tell little other side so you don't feel bad about it. So yeah. he's also, because he's very, what do you say? Not esoteric, strange. No, I don't know the word. So he also has the other side. He says, okay, that's it. People are not attracted to serve you. So I'm going to close down the door. Nobody is coming to see you all because they are all coming for material benefit. I don't want them to material benefit. They should develop love and serve to you. They are not interested. They only come, oh, Baba, I need my daughter's wedding, you know, money. I need my son a job. I need this. I need that. You know, I have a sick. They are always asking for this. I don't want anybody to come to see you. He's talking to Gornita. Nobody is allowed. That's it. You will be fasting, I'll be fasting. And he's telling Gornita, you'll be fasting, I'll be fasting. I'm not going out. So they close for days after days. Not going out. Don't ask me all these questions. Did he not go to bathroom? I don't know, but it's never recorded. That he said, I'm not going. Then finally, this is a good part. We are fortunate that some of Bhakti Siddhanta disciples, you know, they, they heard that don't go, but still they are in their mind is like, well, we want to experience what else he does. So he, they heard that he closed the door. Weeks and weeks, nobody's going there. Nobody knows any sound or anything. What is happening inside? So some of the devotees went and knocked the door. Who is it? Who, who are you calling? Baba, we are Saraswati Thakur, means Bhakti Siddhan Thakur. People, you, you have so much love and affection for him. Okay, I will open for you. That was the first. So he did have an affection for Bhakti Siddhanta, his follower. But he was a very eccentric, I don't know the <laughs> word proper, how would you say? But there are some time, you know, dealing with this. Like Mother Josuda trying to punish Krishna. I mean, what kind of? Even Hanuman could not reconcile. So he never came to see Krishna. He said, I don't know what I'll do. My Lord is afraid of... No, no, I cannot even think. I don't want to say. Just tell the Lord I'm sick. I cannot go. Are you lying? <laughs> don't worry. This is how. This is eternally. Because this is called Mamata. Everybody understand? This is Mamata. Means he's my Lord. My Lord is supreme God. Nobody can punish him. That's fine. That's for you. But Lord also choose to have a mother. 
or how mother going to treat him? He's go she's going to discipline him. So like this. Is that clear, everybody? Good. Further information on Prema. So I'm ending the chapter. Oh, it's only three minutes. Wow, I did good. Exact on time. And this is uh, from Rupa Goswami Path's book. Premna eva vilastat vairalayat sadhakeshopi atra sneha dhiko veda vivichena hi sangsitaha sneha or affection and other advanced stage are manifestation of prema. But because they are rare, even in those we have practiced bhakti, the distinction will not be described here. That's why I was saying that you, you all should be greedy to read the rest of the nectar of devotion. And then just two more bars and then we end with this. Uh, the next bars, Rupa Goswami Path says, May the person name Sanatan Goswami, he's just appreciating. This is a, this is a great uh, mentality of a good sadhaka. Good devotee's mentality is, Rupa Goswami Path is a, also an emblem of great devotee. Whatever you do, big decision in your life, always take advice from a senior. Say, this is what I think I want to do. Would you consider this is proper for me? Rupa Goswami Pad, every time he did something, he always consulted with his guru, Shiksha Guru, called Sanatan Goswami Pad. Happened to be his brother, but his Shiksha Guru. He always asked, this is what happened. Is this proper what I should do? This is a great quality of a great devotee. And we can adapt this, isn't it? It's not like, oh, I, I am bright. No, why not you take a shelter of a senior who can help you? You will progress. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says, in your life, if you have a one or two, believe me, when I read this, I mentioned this before. Mentor in your life, well-wisher, you should feel great that you are protected. We should always have a shelter of senior devotee. And then I was thinking, why one, two? In Ishkan, we have thousands. Why not thousands? But actually, when you grow more advancing, advancing, and then you see actually very few appreciate and encourage you to go further. Very few. Very few. If you're lucky, you get one or two. Then you appreciate what Bhakti Siddhartha Tagur says. If you say, he said, if you have one or two, you should feel very fortunate. So with that note, Sanatan Goswami Pad was glorified by Rupa Goswami Pad because everything he sees the mercy of the seniors. And he doesn't see himself that he is advanced devotee. It's wonderful. Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bo. Okay, any takeaway? So we can stop here. We discussed definition of prem, right? There was a primary and secondary. I'm just summarizing in one, two minutes. So we discussed about definition of prem and uh, what was the um, uh, primary and uh, uh, um, secondary? Primary was that it intensified. Yeah. And the secondary was two things. One was soften the heart more. Jai Sisi Gornitai Bhagavan Ki Jai. We are on time. Everything. We are closing also. DT also. Taking rest. Thank you, Gornitai, for being so kind to us. And then we discuss about um, achieving prema. And achieving prema, prema comes from two sources, bhava and mercy. By mercy and by practice. And bhava stage comes from Bhoidi Sadhana Bhakti and Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti. That also we discuss details. Then two types of prema. One is Mahatma, not Mahatma, Mahatma, M-A-H-A-T-M-A, Gyanam. Mahatma Gyana means that your um, submission uh, to Supreme Lord surrendering with a opulence, backed up by the opulence uh, of knowledge. 
or his majesty. You can say awe and reverence. And the second one, Kebola, means pure. You don't care Krishna is rich or poor, just loving. This is very rare. And then we discuss about evolution of prem. There is a stage by stage. Sadda, Sato Sangha, Bhajana, Kriya, Anartani, Priti. This whole ladder is there and you can check by the... Uh, we didn't have time for that, but uh, I'll post it in the WhatsApp so you can all have it. That's also a question. Yes. What question is there, Prabhu? From stages from Shraddha to Prayer. Say it. Say it. Yeah. What is the question? Nine stages from Shraddha to Prima. What is it? Shraddha, then Sadhu Sangha. Did you find it? Shraddha, then Sadhu Sangha. Then Bhajana Kriya. Without Bhajana Kriya, there is no Anarthani Priti. Then Anarthani Priti. After Anartani Priti goes down, you feel a strong fix called Nista. And then from that fix, you'll start tasting. Ruchi comes after. So it's like a, you can see it's a very scientific way. Then after the Ruchi, then you want to get it more. What happened? You become attached. Asukti. And when the Asukti intensify, it becomes power. Yeah. Then bhava, when it is more intensified, is prem. You got it? Okay. What's the next question? Two types of prema bhakti. Two types of prema bhakti. What did we discuss? Who remembers? Kevala. Yeah, good. Good but you have to put it into English also. What language you understand, put it in that. That's better. Mahatma means prema mixed with knowledge of Lord's majestics or and reverence. And Kabbalah means unmixed, pure. Okay. What is the next question? Yeah. Two ways to achieve prema bhakti. What are the two ways to achieve? Yeah, what are the two ways? Who remember? Mercy and Yandeva. Very good. Mercy and Bhava. Mercy and Bhava. Kripa and Bhava. And Bhava is the result of practice. Sadhana. Sadhana produces Bhava. But then uh, it comes from a Bhaiti Sadhana or Raganuga Sadhana. But what is Bhaiti Sadhana means? You follow rules, regulation and you are I mean, attracted to the majestic aspect. But the Raganuga Sadhana is what? Two things. That your anartha dissolving and spontaneous uh, attraction arising. So that's good. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that was easy. Gaur Pramanande, Hare Hare Bol, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Pancha Galpa, Turvesha Kipas, Indabai Vachap, Padita Nam Pavanebo, Vaishnavebo, 